Welcome, France. Welcome, Ned Jarrett. Sweeping asphalt mountain roads with numerous tight corners will push the car and the driver to the limit. Precision driving is needed along with nerves of steel in order to gain that extra second that could give you a podium finish. Just just hearing Ned say non-NASCAR terms like podium finish. It's weird, man. Weird. Crate has disappeared. Disappearing in dirt games. Well then. So, <clears throat> third round of the Novice Championship, the Radio France 2000, sponsored by Kenwood. Anyways, four stages here, so no super special. And uh, let's just let's just take a look at what we got here. So, first stage, five kilometers in length. How shocking. The land of a thousand turns, yes. And stage two, a little shorter in length. Taking place at noon, a little warmer. So, uh, let's... Get right into it. Is Twitch lagging? I think Twitch completely fucking crashed earlier. Because, like, there was no streams. Like, a couple hours ago. I think Twitch has been having issues. Today. <clears throat> also, I do... Unfortunately, not have encoding issues, so I'm not sure if you like you could uh, normally watch the stream at like source quality, but uh, welcome. I've also upped my bit rate a little bit. That might be causing some uh, problems because like I'm basically taking Keenan's advice and doing like a slow trickle of like increasing bit rate and shit. See if I can get better quality. Might even do some that will probably like kill my viewer count, but maybe actually stream in 10 to 80p. Maybe. Especially since I'm now rendering all my Let's Play videos in 1080p. Because apparently 720 is no longer high definition for YouTube, therefore fuck your quality. Oh no, a red sector split. Oh fuck. Honestly, it looks like these tarmac rallies are going to be the hardest ones in the game. Because, like, normally I'm a lot better at the tarmac stages than I am dirt. Or gravel. But, um... Just early impressions with the physics of this game. I think I'm going to be more successful on the gravel than in tarmac. Oh, oh, uh, also I do that. that. That'll happen as well. Boop off the of walls. And careening off the road into trees. This is definitely one of those maps where it for more feels like an enclosed, like, purpose-built area versus just driving on a ro bunch of roads. Because of the tree walls. That's a little more open, but you know. But you know. That's... Pole, don't hit it. Oh shit, don't fucking do that. I can't even keep up with the pace notes. Like, I'm not even attempting to listen to them. Because I just can't. Like, I just have to go with the visual pace notes and hope for the best. Too busy talking. Talking over here. Oh shit, oh fuck. Alright, we're good. Pace notes seem to be pretty good, though. I've noticed, like, a little couple small inaccuracies, but... You know, you'll have that. Newer dirt games, false starts are a thing. Oh, well then. Whee! Look at me go fling my car around. These physics are definitely better suited for gravel, because of just the slidey nature of the car. So, up? 
Oh, hi, Steve. Sorry, I wasn't... I couldn't really look at chat during the stage, because it was very twisty. Anyways, I won the stage. Only by nine seconds, though. I say only. That's, that's small for novice difficulty. Duga second, McCray in third. I mean, you can't really, yeah. Although it's impossible to do a false start in this game just because you, the game actually will not allow you to shift into gear until after uh, go, so. You know. Like I'm pressing up shift like a madman right now. Nope. I like that, um, light tower by the bird. Whatever. There's a little, uh, white box for the countdown. Tree. I think that's what I was trying to say. Like, what the hell do they call that thing in drag racing? I couldn't put my finger on it. Holy fuck, I'm actually not winning a stage. God damn it. Is it bad, JC? No, not a red light. I think it's called a, like a tree. <clears throat> the tree in drag racing. That's what I was trying to refer to it as. Staging tree, yeah, that. Dill, thank you. Okay. So is it, like, salvageable, I'm guessing? Or not a pain in the ass? Like false starts in gamers, just like, all right, let's hold on the gas and wait for go. The game's just like, and don't do that. Get fucked, idiot. Look at my rules now. I'm starting to get the hang of tarmac physics now. I say as I go flying off the road and into a wall. Also keep forgetting this is like an old arcade game. Arcade style game, so like I can just fucking slam on the brakes and fling the car. I'm not used to doing that. Way too used to driving more realistic rally years, rally games. Than whatever the fuck Rally Evolved was. Not quite terrible mountain. The terrible mountain was great. Best track in GT Advance 3, don't at me. Yeah, alright. That makes sense, because I do have a noise gate in OBS, so. That's probably why, because my mic is open at the time, so whatever fucking noises bleed through, there you go. The most terrible track name I've seen. But um tush. I can't get over the fact he just goes okay to signify the end of the stage. Not like end of stage or finish. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm leading by half a minute over Dugas. Uh, McCray is down to fourth. Colin, what are you doing, man? It's your game. You're not even the top AI driver. Anyways, that was the first two stages? Yes, it was. Alright, so service area. And we get to move on to stages three and four. Look at that frickin' intestine in the first sector. Actually, I think it's the second sector. I can't tell where the split is in that part of the road because, oh my god, the, tw the hairpins. Then stage four. Honestly, this looks like a terrible mountain except just not connected. 
Like, find the map of Terrible Mountain from DT Advance 3, lay it over this, You'll, it's the same thing. Alright, oh my goodness. Okay, we have some stuff to repair. The gearbox is fucked. Uh... Wait, no, I don't want to do that. Body can stay fucked. Axles are kind of fucked. Suspension, turbo, steering, and electronics. There we go. Spent my entire hour. Let's go. Looks like a weird tree. That reminds me of a... Uh, there, there's a track in NASCAR 98 where the map is just a tree. <laughs> <clears throat> Three, two, exhaust is <laughs> yeah, At least I'm not damaging the exhaust. The most important part of the car. This is the turn that never ends. We. Go, car, go. Oh, this is that little intestine. I saw the, uh, on the map. I'm actually missing my left front. Uh, right, no, I'm not. I thought I was missing left front bodywork. No, it's just graphics. Just PS1 graphics being PS1 graphics. He said three, so I instinctively shifted down to third gear. I actually heard him say that that time because I wasn't fucking yelling over him. Uh, not yet, JC. Oh, penis, okay. The worst I've had on the ring. Well, you mean like a 270 degree hairpin? I mean, Oren Park kind of had something like that before it got shut down. It wasn't like a continuous turn, but it was like a multi apex section that made like a 270 degree loop. <clears throat> it was kind of neat. This is a tight and twisty stage. Dude, I can't wait to get my ass handed to me on frickin' not novice difficulties. Too great. Gonna rip my balls off. What's three to do? Yes. Oh, jeez. It's fine. Got this. Whoa. Ah. Yeah. That was, uh... It wasn't smooth, but it was nice. I mean, I, I'm telling you, Super, I hope one day somebody with fuck-off money just decides... You know what? I'm gonna make Grand Valley in real life. Like, need it. Hey, Colin actually finished second in the stage. Look at him go. He's finally back on the up and up. <clears throat> Hooray, I'm over a minute ahead again. Heading into the final stage. Last time in the tunnel. I mean, I just want the map of the track. I don't care if, if, like, aesthetically isn't it the same, as long as the map of the track is the exact same, and maybe even the elevation. Three, Anyways, final stage two, here in one. France. Go, 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 
that double shift was not intentional. My my right index finger just kind of decided to keep pushing down on the button. I have no control over my body. Whoa. Car skidded a little too much there. It's kind of interesting how just wildly different the, uh, the physics in this game are versus Toka. Developed and published by the same, you know, company, but around the same time, but my god, physics are so different. We get out of the dirt, get out of the dirt, thank you. Yes, the classic cliffside stages. It's like if the Armco wasn't here, you would fucking die. Oh, turn's still going. Could have the tunnels start later, I guess. Like, just not have the tunnel turns, but have that like one uh, tunnel straight. Oh god. That would be pretty amazing, Fiends. Who was it that... Wasn't it Viper Concept that actually made a video of uh, doing that? Right on the actual C to DR route. IRL. E... Okay. So fucking narrow. It was obviously decide, d designed for, you know, pedest for, like, you know, pedestrian walking and fucking maybe motorbikes. As in, like, motor scooters. Not, you know, full bodied cars. Boom. I like how the finish line is actually, like, a little bit after the, uh, the gate, f uh, signs there. Interesting. I think I've seen that as well. And there's, you know, of course somebody driving the uh, Monaco Grand Prix circuit in its normal state. Oh, Cray was fourth in that stage. Let's see where he ends up overall. Da da da, third. Another ween for me by a minute and a half over Dugas. Say at number one. McCray third, Baka, Teasel, and Aikita. In the points. Oh. Oh, Seattle, yeah. Sure is. There's the uh, points allocations. Four. Our six lucky drivers I got the gold trophy for winning at France, and here are the updated point standings. So perfect 36 for me, 20 for Dugas. So I'm now a whole rally and a half ahead of Dugas. McCray in third, five behind Dugas, one ahead of Baca, and uh, we have a tie for seven between Akita and Tizo. We have eight drivers now with at least one point. Out of 16, so half the field has scored a point. Yay! Let's move on. <laughs> 